Today, we're going to unpack a paradox. Millions of people across Africa are malnourished, while at the same time, millions are becoming heavier and heavier. One worrying trend is that the problem is also prevalent among children. We find that the continent was home to 27% of the world's overweight children aged under five. Today, we want to address health risks associated with weight and talk about why we're seeing an increase of overweight and obesity. So, why are we getting heavier? First of all, we do more sedentary work than our ancestors. And secondly, we eat more processed foods, which are often high in calories, fat, sugar, and salt. Also, being heavy is still viewed as a sign of wealth in some African regions, and that can be dangerous. According to the WHO, overweight and obesity can cause cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, put a strain on bones, joints, and vital organs such as the heart. High weight can also reduce a person's life expectancy. Unfortunately, it's an issue we tend to diagnose in others much faster than in ourselves. South African general practitioner and weight loss expert Dr. Nasiba Katrada, aka Dr. Kat, regularly witnesses this phenomenon. The patient of mine has, who's four, his mother's overweight, his father's overweight, his brother is overweight, but they decided that at four, it's a problem. So I go, what about at 16? What about you? What about you? And I go, you want me to help the four-year-old? He gets to eat different things in the house, but the rest of you eat something else. If you want to say bye to extra pounds, the solutions are actually quite simple. Experts insist that we should choose fresh foods over processed foods and choose water rather than soft drinks. Interestingly, what always came up when I talked to experts was how vital a shift in attitudes is. The same people who, are, who have set the trends in uh, wealth and opulence as we have come to learn and admire and try to imitate need to help us to reverse those trends, to glamorize uh, walking, glamorize cycling, glamorize eating, uh, you know, having a fruit, a, a, a fruit pyramid instead of a birthday cake loaded with uh, trans fats and sugar and saturated fats. So instead of showing off what we can afford, we should start making healthy food and lifestyle choices. And when it comes to how we want to look, maybe it's time to drop traditions and follow the advice of doctors and nutritionists on what it means to have a healthy body.